what is up guys welcome to your 19th objective sheet tutorial and this tutorial is on compound relational test and also a nested if statement now we already learned how to do really simple tests when using an if statement and that was like if age is less than 60 or we learned to do one like if number is greater than 10 but sometimes and quite often you need tests that are a little more complex so let's go ahead and add to our dating website by not only seeing if your age is above or below a certain point but within a range of something so let's go ahead and make int age and we'll go ahead and do something like if age and what we're going to do is we're going to test if age is let's say if it's less than 17 or if it's greater than 80 then we want to kick them off the site so let's go ahead and put let's go ahead and set a value to this age if age equals 21 so let's go ahead and write if age is less than 18 but we also want to test if it's greater than 80 so there are a couple cool uh, the syntax for doing this testing if both conditions are true is the or operator so the or operator is this hold down shift and above your enter or return key hit the pipeline twice and go ahead and put if age is greater than 80 now here's what this means this is a test right here and this is also a simple test the two pipeline pipelines means or that means in order for the code to execute below it and might as well make code right now ns log um, so if they're below let's see if they're less than 18 or greater than 80 then what are we gonna write just write something like go to another website because we don't want them on ours and I know I spelled another wrong uh, in this let's go ahead and put we won't even make it else it doesn't really matter for this tutorial so like I was saying this is the or operator two pipelines that means this is a simple test and this is a simple test if this is true or if this is true then this code gets executed so if either one of the options are true then the code gets executed now if they were both true say if it was greater than 5 and it was greater than 10 then it would also get executed so in or either one or the other or both have to be true for the code to get executed so let's go ahead and build and run this and see what we got it said nothing it didn't say go to another website now let's go ahead and uh, fail one of the tests and make the age 90 so save it and we'll see what we got it says go to another website so why did this happen it said alright age is 90 is age less than 18 no it's greater than 18 is age greater than 80 yes so since this entire statement right here was true this entire statement here is true and that's why this got executed now there's another one called the and and what this is is two ampersands above the seven and what this would mean is that this and this would have to be both true it just can't be one or the other both of these conditions would have to be met in this case it's not possible because you can't be less than 18 and greater than 80 but that I'm just throwing that out there for uh, later on now let's go ahead and delete this whole thing in so I can actually build a really sweet program here int age and sex and now I'm gonna teach you guys about something called a nested if statement so let's go ahead and make ns log and just go ahead and put like enter age and now let's give them a scan f and we'll give them a place to enter their age percent i and that is of course stared in the variable age and now let's go ahead and do the same thing for sex copy enter sex and we'll give him a little prompt put like um one boy two 
girl. So now, not only on our website, well, let's show you what happens. It gives you prompts says enter age and you enter your age. Then it gives you a place to say enter sex, where they will enter one for boy or two for girl, and it will store that variable either one or two in the variable sex. So let's go ahead and make our little program again. We go ahead and write if age is less than 18 or age is greater than 80, then we don't want them on our website. I know it's mean, but ns log go to another website, Haas, and forgot our semicolon, else, and what this else is going to be is, this is what a nested if statement is. If they pass one of the tests or fail it, it's perfectly valid to put a whole entire if statement and substitute for one of the statements in the other if statement. So check it out. Instead of just writing a statement here with a semicolon, you can actually put another if statement. So if they pass the test and if they are in the proper age range, then what we want to do after, since they're allowed to enter the site, is check if what sex they are and give them an appropriate message. So if sex is equal to one, what do we want to say is ns log and this means that they're between 18 and 80 and they're also a boy because if they entered one they're a boy so at be like welcome man not the at sign else well if they put else then we know they're a girl because they must have entered two so let's just give them another ns log copy that and put welcome girly so let's go ahead and build and run this and see what happens first of all it says enter your age and no matter what you're gonna enter both of them um just go so enter age let's make this one valid 34 enter enter six I'm one a boy so it says welcome man so now let's go ahead and run this again so the first time it said welcome man perfectly just like we planned now the second time it says enter age um, I'm 103 and I'm a female so I'm gonna enter two and it says go to another website Haas so this program is working fine so what it did one last time is this it gave you two variables right here age and sex because that we're using it said enter age you enter the age it said enter sex, you either entered one or two and it stored that number in sex. First it checked if you were between 18 and 80. If you weren't, then it automatically kicked you to another site. And then if you were, it went on to go to another test right here. And that was an entire if else statement nested inside this else block right here. And what it did was it took sex and if it was equal to one, then it knew you're your dude. If it was equal to two or anything else besides one, it knew you were a girl. So those are the concepts of not only nesting an if else statement in another if else statement, but also how to use a compound relational test to test more than one simple test. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.